Hey, welcome back to the Audio Lang Show. Our resident expert on baseball. He's also a football guy, but I got some uh, interesting baseball things I want to ask. The great Casey Stearns here. What's up, Case? What's up, guys? How, How you we doing? doing? Good, man. So, in one of the weirdest, craziest stories ever, maybe you know exactly what happened at this dinner. Ryan Braun takes the oh, yeah. <laughs> specimen collector guy yes. who we totally screwed over <laughs> right. yeah. out for Dino Lorenzi. Yeah, yeah, out for dinner. Right. What 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 happened there? I'm sure you know. I hope they ate a lot of lobster and steak. <laughs> uh, you know, you know I, my thought, like when you go to bed, you want to sleep well, is that money changed hands. And I thought I actually had a really? caller into my I hope so. I had a caller into my show that had a really For good the idea. Sake of Dino, I hope so. What you hope is that he went in there and said, "You have kids in college, because now they're paid for." Yeah. And and wrote now them they a own check. The college. <laughs> or or did say, you hope? Right. Don't you have to? You don't. But it, I mean, say, I mean look, look. It seems shallow, right? but but, a couple but it's of, not shallow. No, you're right. A couple, guy's job, a, couple, right? a couple of men get together. That's what. That's that's how I would feel. I go, listen, I got some cash for you. I'm sorry. Right? He's don't got get a, insulted. He's got $130 million coming to him. Is that the way we describe it in Jersey? Yeah. In Jersey? Go ahead. I got an envelope for you. Right. Yeah. Right. We're going to have a sit down. <laughs> I got a, right. Listen, I got an envelope. Right, for envelope. And he just passed Give him some envelope. cash. Right. You would hope so. I, I, I would hope so, so too. I what do you think's so. a fair amount? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he was making. What do you make to collect samples? Uh, 80 grand a year? Yeah, I, I mean, you got to give him double. 80 for like the year that he lost, and 80 for looking like, you let's know. Try a, to, let's try to. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well, let's try to figure this out. Yeah. Yeah, because you ruined the guy's reputation did. for a little while. Um, Although, I don't know what reputation he had nationally. No one knew who he was well, before. Well, that's right. But that's the thing. He right. gave him a reputation. He did. He and gave it was a bad, a bad one. one. It was a bad one. <laughs> if you give somebody a reputation, right. if you give the gift of reputation, you right. want it to be a good one. Right. He made him like a specimen whore of yeah. some type. It was <laughs> I not, mean, not so what you want to be. In yeah. this economy, you know, the average salary, every time I see this, I, I feel guilty and also I feel amazed. That it can't be true, but the average salary in this country—it's you know, a big country. You're talking about the people who shovel crap in Nebraska, uh, fat figured into the average. But supposedly the average salary is thirty-eight thousand dollars a year, uh, between thirty-eight and forty-two is what I really, think, which is really like low, low. Yeah. Uh, so this guy—I don't know. May, maybe eighty's high. I mean, I, I think, think eighty is high. You yeah. gotta give. They money. do other. They, that's not their only job, right? Yeah. When they're collecting. I mean. I this think a is lot of times of my element. No, but what but exactly? I, what are you talking I about? I thought that those guys, the ones that that collected my pee, right, were guys who had been in Scientists? law enforcement. No, <laughs> no, you're right. They've been who, in law enforcement, yeah. and then they were retired, and it was Security. just like something extra. It's like a side gig. Security, something guy. extra. Right. Yeah, like right. you're. They were either retired and couldn't, right. didn't want to do any a big job. Or they were working another job right. as well. To so. feed the family. Like an overboard, Kurt Russell had the fish gig. You collect pee <laughs> yeah. on the side. To get I've right. never, right. ever heard someone refer to the movie Overboard. Right. Well, but that's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. listen, uh, to me it falls under this crazy umbrella of security. <laughs> security. You know, like like right. uh, ex-cops, I work security now. Uh, whatever. Uh, right. Uh, uh, government guys, I work security now. Right. Uh, guys who work for rehab centers or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Bodyguards. Security, security. So maybe it falls under that security umbrella. If you collect pee, you don't just collect pee. Well, you know, here's the other part of that, and, and that is, <laughs> well, it's the other part of the dinner uh -huh. and why I don't know if money changes hands, and I would think if it does, it's got to come with some kind of a written something because you got to put it in writing, is what is to say that Lorenzi can't go sue? There's got to be some kind of defamation of character. I mean, sure. I'm not a lawyer, but there's got to be some kind of a lawsuit. So On the, the impetus of, of the levels. dinner, yeah. the impetus of the dinner is twofold. One, I get to go tell everybody the next day because, by the way, this is not a coincidence that we didn't hear from him in months. He's right. out somewhere sipping my ties yeah. with his model fiance, and then the next thing you know, a day later, I, oh, by the way, last night, uh, guess where I had dinner? Uh -huh. You know, so I think one is public eye. I think two is to try and and massage. The relationship, well, so that you don't get sued. You're forgetting three, which of What's course that? it might have been in the jalapeno popper guy right. at Red Robin. Right, uh, could be. Who, who went, I hope uh, he went higher than that. And I, yeah, I. Uh, there's 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 a lot of shady uh, implications yeah. in the whole thing. I think I think it's it's all about PR. But and, what do you think? You know, uh, what do you think about? So you'd say, go double what the guy's yearly salary. I would, I would give him. I think he should get paid. I mean, Mike, you agree? What do you think over there? You think it right? Uh, he should eighty grand the specimen. Yeah. 80 grand a specimen. What does that mean? It's an expensive specimen. specimen. 80 grand a test tube or whatever it is. What does that mean? Mike? So you no. want to pay him 80 grand based on how much he peed. 
No, I thought you guys were talking about the pe- guy who collected it. Yeah, the guy who collected it. Well, you how should much get a great show. I mean, that's like, you know. No, so, so per person. Yeah. Per he person, 80, then he should get 80, 80 grand. grand. Every time Mike, every hell, time I'll Mike, collect some pee for that. So every time Mike has the opportunity. Sign me up. <laughs> right, every time exactly. Mike has the opportunity to, to have an easy answer. <laughs> right. He makes I it complicated. Him up there. I thought. You just got to just give, you just have to throw out a number. And you went 80 grand, and we all had to go, what? No, because I, well, you, look who you're dealing with, per. though. Come on, that's like... Uh, well, how many they're specimens? They're not peeing on you. They're peeing in a cup and handing it to the you. To pee on you, it's like outside the Holland Tunnel is 40 bucks. <laughs> 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 what the... Uh, wait, 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 Mike. Yeah. What, what the, so how many specimens do you think there were? I don't know. It depends on, you know... There's a lot of best. players, There's a man. lot of players. Yeah. Just let me wipe my eyes. I mean, 80 Gs, you're taking a... Th- I mean, that's a lot of specimens. I'm, I'm a greedy guy. I can't help it. I'm All sorry. Right. Clearly. Yeah. Clearly you're a greedy guy. You want to get paid a so lot. So he collectors the make urine. ten million dollars a year. So, but you yeah. know, in, in, right? in, in, <laughs> no, but I like your answer because in the fun we're having, you did give a serious answer. Yeah. That you hope he paid him. He yeah. has to pay him. Yeah. I think. Well, I guess he doesn't right? have to. But, right. You, you know, would think. There's some lawyers. You want it right. You want to sleep got well together night. and said, listen, dude, you pay don't want off. trouble from this guy. Pay him off. Yeah. For a sign yep. thing, if he won't mess with you anymore, pay. Yep. Pay him off. Uh, that's the great American way. Yeah, you would hope so. Uh, now, uh, so we got a lot of hot stuff there action is. going on. Ellsbury, give yeah. me your thoughts on Ellsbury. Uh, years five to seven gonna hurt. Yeah, I agree. Uh, years one through four, heck of a player. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, look, everybody talks about injury prone. He had a couple of years where he's injured. Nowadays, none of these guys are healthy 100 percent of the time anyway. So, so I, true. I think it's always a risk. Why is everyone yeah. talking? And I'm, you know, I don't follow Ellsbury's career uh, well, it's closely. Your job now. I know, but uh, now it is. Now I'll be <laughs> checking them out. But uh, why is everyone saying, why are you paying old speed? Why is it? Is is he considered to be a uh, well, you know, he, speed monger? He stole fifty plus last year. He's he's stolen 60, 70 bases. But when you get over the age of thirty. In this sport, normally you're now headed down this way. So we always talk about you're paying guys for what they've done what they do instead of paying what they're going to do in front of you. 50 is a lot of stolen bases. I feel like, yeah, but the, yeah, it's a lot of stolen bases, but 30 is not old. I mean, that's no, to me, it's that's not, not baseball old either. No. But, but, what about Ricky well, Henderson? I mean, he stole bases well, until he was 50 about years the most old. Extraordinary right. guy ever. But, but no, right. I agree with you. Right. I, I just don't think speed leaves you at 30. Here's the thing if you were a wide receiver in football, and you start to lose your speed with age. You can't say, "Well, at least I can tackle." So, I mean, for him, he's not—he's yeah. he do- not an all-around player. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? So, I guess the majority of what people like about him is his speed. So, I think Whoa. they worry about that. I-, I like him in the first four years of this deal. You I know do. What I it's a lot of money. You but. know what I always like to look at, and if I was like a scout or whatever, uh, I-, I would look at this that. Um, Forget about how many bases he stole. How many times was he caught? No, not many. Not many. At all. Yeah, really. Like okay. five. Yeah. I don't know what the exact like, numbers, like but I have fifty I'm, out of fifty. He's, it's pretty. It's it's wow. something to that ilk. Ellsbury last year. Then yeah. I wow. pay, then I pay him yeah. because that's an extraordinary thing. Yeah. That's like a special. That's like a it was middle, pretty good. That's like the middle relief version of base running. You know what I mean? Like well, you yeah. mean, it's a it specialty like, thing that helps you. Yeah. Well, here's. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of guys out there. No. That no, made that their niche. Yeah, you know, no. that are, right. And here's the thing: yeah. chicks dig the long ball. You know the saying: the leadoff man's important. You know, in, in baseball, y- you need people to drive in runs, but you got to have somebody sparking that offense. And Absolutely. it's not a secret that you, you look at the teams who do it; they all have them. You know, Jimmy Rollins when the Phillies were good. Now he's old and he stinks, and the team's not good. You look at uh, two two uh, World Series, and Ellsbury's played well. That's another thing I think the Yankees will like. The Yankee fan is he's good in the clutch. Sure, I think they'll like that aspect. Yeah. Like he's always like that. Yeah, we got to realize this part. I, I, I always talking to people about this now every day. If we're going to sit here and say, oh, my God, I can't believe so-and-so got this many years and that much money, every single baseball player in God's creation is now going to get too many years yeah. and too much money. It's this stupid. This is the market and, and, we're in. You're right, and it's because you know? of guys like Boris and all these guys. But can't they learn from their mistakes? A-Rod, clearly, the Yanks paying way too much for too long. Can't they learn from their mistakes? What is the stranglehold these agents have? You know, like Robinson Cano, he's 31. He deserves five years, not seven or eight. I'll tell you. I mean, well, like, why can't we do that? I'll tell you this much. In talking to, to Scott, and, and let's be fair about one thing. We could say how evil he is. I always say this on the air on our Scott, show. You know, Boris. Scott, well, you I, know? I know him well enough to call him by his first name. Oh, sure. So this is totally, but I, I, but the interview totally tainted. But I would say. No, Scott. No, no, I, Scott. I would say. In talking to Scott. I, I, would, I would say that if we were going to be players, you want a guy to represent. 
represent you. You were a player. You of course. Gotta, we're gonna make you the most money, and that's what he does well. But uh, here's absolutely. what he does. He he will tell you. He sells the team on. Here's where you are without my player. And here's where you are with my player. Now, how much of this is substance and how much is is sizzle? You know, how much is another movie? How much is, you know, in the great outdoors, the old 96er? How much is the grizzle and fat and how much is actually the steak? You lost There's me. a lot of the, you lost Well, me. the agents, they sell you. <laughs> you lost they, me two movies the, ago. The agents sell you on all the sizzle. Now, and, they, and it's not and about the substance. Substance is my Not about book. the substance. Substance and sizzle is my <laughs> name. Not about lag. Substance and sizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Scott. Yeah. That's your new moniker. Me and Scott are That's having new lunch. Scott yeah, and I. I don't call What are you, Boris? All right, Mr. Boris. No, hey, Scott go Boris. is just wonderful. We can go Boris. We can go Boris. Me and Scott are We can go dinner. Boris. <laughs> we can go Boris. I, look, I, I think when you look at these contracts, let's remember this. The Cardinals say goodbye to Al, Albert Pujols. Where were they this year? World Series. I know. You know? Uh, so you can let guys go, take the hit. And it, it's In New York, it's harder than St. Louis. To say to a fan in front of a press conference, hi, we let this player, who's the best player on your team, go, but don't worry, we'll fix it. Because the fans throw it's crap at you and they hate you. It's harder to do everything. You can't do it. It's hard to do everything. Can't do it. Can't do it. Hard to do everything in New York. You're can't right. But, uh, okay, let, give, give, give me your assessment of Don Mattingly as a manager. Like, what? where do you think he – is he an elite manager? No. Is he an overrated manager or an underrated manager? I don't where, where, like, what is he worth? I don't it know if he's rated. It looks like he's overrated when he's I'm said, watching know, Casey's reaction. But who rates him? I don't – you know, look, I, I Scott. think – Scott does rate him. Never, Can you call Scott? Scott? Things Scotty. to go back and never do again. Does your Scott have a lot of muscle? Uh, yeah. What's that? Scott have a lot of muscle. Does he have a lot of muscle? Yeah, You've yeah. now taken this to a scary place. Do Mike. you know who Scott Boris is? Mike? He's, he's in baseball. I know that. Oh. I'm not... He's a That's guy. good. That's a good start. Mike he, makes the announcer on our He is in baseball. Show. He doesn't carry urine. <laughs> By the way, it is. Okay, what do you think he does? Yeah. What do you think he does? Take a guess at baseball. I'll give you three guesses. What does he do? How is he related to the sport of baseball? He's either a player or a coach. Neither's wrong. I mean, <laughs> neither's right. A, a manager. No. no. <laughs> oh, for three. In Florida. Florida. No. No. <laughs> he he, he uh, shows hot dogs? No. no he sell hot dogs. You said player. Are those the only options? Player, manager. Just keep on hitting. Oh, wait, wait. He, just uh, keep on hitting. Every, if he opens his mouth, just hit it. Because every word out of his mouth is wrong. Every word. <laughs> She held it. She held I am bitch. shocked that your name is Mike Boschetti. I'm shocked. You can follow him on Twitter, by the way, at Mike Boschetti. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Dan. Uh, he brings that animosity. I don't. Yeah, think actually, that's... Dan is getting mad. Right yeah, now. yeah. Well, look, well, he's I, mad. it is a sports show. You might, you should know this. What? It's okay, in the wait. Can, you yeah. try. Okay, Dan, answer it then. You should. Well, no, he knows it. But... <laughs> well, what is his answer? But, but he knows the answer. Yeah, like what, let him. Let me hear it. Then. Mike, you tried player. You tried player, manager, coach, owner. Just are there My any others skills. you could? What else could he be? Think of our world, Mike. He's a, we have the same thing in our world. As a Asian Asian. Yes. Yeah. Twenty thousand dollar pyramid. But I think <laughs> that, uh, that didn't come because yeah, I'm not too sports. fond of them. You know what I mean? That's right. Why, Oh, oh, now we got to hear about how they've wronged you over your entire life. Get him on Twitter. You are interrupting Casey Stern. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that's if it's okay. something that you know about, then chime in. Keep going, Nasty Pants. Go ahead, Dan. I love you. <laughs> nasty now, Pants. You nasty Pants. <laughs> what the hell? Is Go ahead, Scarecrow Face. Keep going. We got oh, to oh, oh, we gotta <laughs> listen to your career while Susie Esmond is waiting in the green room. Uh, Dan, about you why you didn't make it. Dan, are you programming director now? Oh, what's your story? Now, yeah, your I'm the producer of the show. I got okay. news for you. And when you chime in, when you're, you don't know what you're you know talking what, about. <laughs> How many people love you on Twitter? Wait, Dan, you know what? Oh, oh, God. Let's just, like, why don't you just relax, that. Dan, and just, like, take the cloud from underneath your head. Because I don't around. I don't get acknowledgement from people on Twitter. What are you I don't saying? Especially when they're Dan's Twitter? like a gloomy gush. Neither you know do I, I mean? and I'm on Twitter. He started, <laughs> oh, you just see what he did. He started with me. I didn't do nothing. What did you say about Twitter? He's not liked on Twitter? No, he's hated on that. No, he's not. I know a lot of people like him on there. No, but Art, what I'm saying is she That's not everything. Me. You're putting Twitter too much about Twitter. Twitter. No, but right. what I'm saying is Art, he, he just went after me. I didn't do nothing. Can we go no. back to Nasty Pants? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of things you could have called him. Yeah. Mike, yeah. play the victim. I'm going to put you up on a cross. Scarecrow over. face no, no, was right. another Scarecrow great one. Scarecrow face was Get underrated. Out. Get That's awesome. underrated. Dan, you're the antagonist. Yeah. I'm not yeah. the victim. You know? Oh my I God. want to know where you're going to find a cross uh, that big. <laughs> I don't know. Let Dan make it. He'd probably be happy to nail me to it. Yeah. Oh. oh. With his nasty pants. This is getting great. All right, Mike, don't get your blood pressure. No, I don't. Scarecrow face smiling. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Wasn't that an Adam Sandler Halloween skit? You talking about protractor face? <laughs> I love Sandler. Scare, <laughs> scarecrow yeah, face? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm Pickle Mustang Man. <laughs> I got a crazy pickle for my head. I'm sure Adam Sandler can't wait to do your Scott Boris bit, Mike. <laughs> Dan, have you ever met Adam? I've seen him a couple of times. Oh, now he's calling him Adam. Oh, Adam. See, you don't even look Adam. like Dan. Have you ever met Adam? Do you have you ever Adam? seen him? You know <laughs> I, I met him. At, I seen him at the comic strip years ago. But he, I, that's it. Do you think he'd remember you? No, I never. I never spoke to him. I oh, just, okay, right. Well, I like you know. him. I love him though. I know you do. I love him too. Good man. Great boy. But, but, but why did you bring Adam Sandler into no, this Dan conversation? No, Dan just did. I didn't bring it in. <laughs> no, you just did. No, you just did. I think you it was also me. brought me in in the Nelson Mandela thing when I didn't say a word to you. That's awkward. From Mandela to Sandler. Good. That's a good contrast. Yeah. yeah. Now, we were saying. I, mean, I now you, feel awkward. What do you think about this? You mentioned Mandela. Now I don't between, know where to go. Between Paul Walker and, okay. Nelson, and Nelson Mandela, right. it's been a tough week for Tyree. This is definitely better than the Clara Rivera conversation. <laughs> it has uh, been no, I, yeah. uh, I, I just wanted to say that we have to calm down. Uh, Mike, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, uh, you got it right, though. Scott Bars is an angel. He is loved on Twitter, by the way. I of will say course that. He I will is. say no, that. The thing is, oh, I, I don't, see that I don't want to argue no more. I'll do my job. I'll just I'll put a button in my mouth and Dan. No, I want you. We were arguing. No, no, no. Dan's my boss. I'll just listen to what he has to say. That's it. Just say whatever you want to say. No, I won't say nothing. I'll sit here like, put that fucking uh, ooh, put let that dunce out of my out head. There, Mike. We're all picking on you. Don't curse. No, Dan. You, you know what, Dan? I got so many things I could turn the HR over, but I'm not. A, not I'm not a crybaby. HR? Oh, yeah, baby. You're, I know you're, you're threatening us with hope. No! I'm just saying, I don't cry about stuff, Dan. I've been I've been goaded pretty much. HR? You mean human resources? This yeah. show is going to get picked up by Bravo in about 14 minutes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what what, do you, what can you go to human resources? I wouldn't never do it. I'm, just, I'm not a crybaby. He cries about Did you overhear off. something? No. Did you see something? No, no, never. Was someone sexually assaulted? Yeah. No, not at all. Sounds like it. Oh my God, this guy. Like, <laughs> I'm kind of interested. No. Yeah, I want to know what the HR is. I don't know what it is. I don't really know. I just said it to break his, his pup chops. Is it worthy of an after school special? <laughs> no. It doesn't even okay. come close, Casey. It's like. Uh. Has Helen Hunt jumped out a window? <laughs> Casey, no. I love Helen. <laughs> <laughs> Helen. <laughs> Helen. Scott and Helen. Yeah. He knows Helen, you know Scott. Uh, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> so, Don <Dom> Mattingly, <laughs> you think <laughs> is what? Underrated or overrated as a manager? Yeah. Uh. Because I like Don Mattingly, and I'd like to see him get, uh, you know, what, what he deserves. Now, you know, I well, look, I, I think when you are a player and you're a rookie or in your second year, you're allowed to fumble the football, drop a pass, miss a block, make a mistake in a big game, and the spotlight's not on you. When you're a manager, not allowed to learn. You yeah. can't bat 333 well, go got, the whole thing. Got, you can't make mistakes. He got it on the bubble team to right. overachieve. So I think. I'm not I'm not trying to skate the question because I don't think he's overrated or underrated. I think he's I think he's learning. You know? Uh, I think he screwed up. I think he made some big mistakes. But I think overall, he's a guy who's was a heck of a player, well respected, smart, uh, has leadership qualities, so does a player. I think all those things are, are important, but he's he made a few mistakes. And when you're a manager in baseball, you can't make mistakes. Right. Well, can't make mistakes. I mean, again, I don't, think, you know? I don't think he made – I mean, he got a team to the playoffs. Yeah. And, I mean, it wasn't like everyone said, look, this year the Dodgers are going to win the World Series and he underachieved. I think they overachieved. No, but he pinch, he can't pinch run Adrian Gonzalez. I mean, he did okay. some boneheaded right. – right. You know, he, look, he's a great Yankee. He's 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 still he'll be good. I Put think it this way: good. if he's yeah. out there and your favorite team needs a manager, do you sign yeah. Don? Man? Um, yeah, I wouldn't be afraid to. Yeah. I wouldn't be afraid. It depends right. who else is out there, but I wouldn't be afraid to. Okay. I think he's good. Yeah, okay. he's good. Uh, give me. Uh, what about football now? You what about yes. football? Specific Let's talk football. football stuff. Hey, this yeah. is turning into a really good game. The Texans and Jets. I'm sorry, there's a game tonight? Yeah, yeah but I'm saying. It's really a, good game. I mean, there's a Texans. I mean. Okay, this I mean, week in the uh, NFL. We got a two on two in Aside from this game. game. We got this week in the NFL. break? Is that what you said? All right. We do. Right, hold your question. Okay. That's back. what happens when you bring up this game. No, I know. Well, that's what happens when we bring I up. I know. Uh, there you go. We bring up an argument. <laughs> Bring up an argument about Scott Boris. Nasty pants. All right. Uh, <laughs> we're going to take a nasty pants break. Scarecrow face. <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> this break sponsored by Nasty Pants. Wow, well, first down. When we Unbelievable come back, when we come back, play. John Ritchie will have a football question for Casey Stone. Yeah. The Artie Lang Show. Weeknights on Audience. Only on DirecTV.